Hello and welcome to a short video review of the Ultra HD Blu-ray release of the film Despicable Me, the film that introduced the world to the supervillain Gru, his adorable adopted daughters, and also of course those minions. It's since become a multi-billion dollar franchise with two sequels and a minions prequel movie as well. The original film itself though is charming and funny and beautifully animated. And this Ultra HD Blu-ray release is the first to have Dolby Vision included, which means not only does it have a base HDR10 layer, but it also has Dolby Vision included, which means it has dynamic metadata, which changes the metadata from scene to scene, rather than having one set of numbers for the entire film. And what this basically means is that you get a better HDR experience. It isn't night and day difference, the differences are quite subtle at times, but definitely because each scene is has been optimised um, depending on the, uh, the content, then you get a much more precise and more defined HDR experience. The highlights are more precise, um, the shadow detail slightly better, and also it makes full advantage of the wider colour. Obviously being an animated film, it has a very colourful image, and this is really represented in terms of the wider colour gamut of this HDR experience on the Ultra HD Blu-ray. Um, now it was uh, finished at 2K, so it is up res to 4K for the release, although it's still a very detailed image, um, given the limitations of the original animation, uh, and the use of both HDR and wider colour gamut do give the Im image more impact. So in fact, when comparing it directly with the actual Blu-ray, there's no question that the HDR10 Dolby Vision version is the superior experience compared to the regular Blu-ray. In terms of its soundtrack, it has a new DTS-X soundtrack, and this isn't the best we've ever heard. I mean, there are use of the overhead speakers from time to time, but it's still largely just a sort of ear-level surround experience with the occasional overhead experience. So it's, it's not as immersive as some soundtracks. We had the same experience when we watched the Minions movie, which had a Dolby Atmos soundtrack, and that wasn't that immersive either. But it is quite effective, and certainly it is, as with all animated films, the soundtrack's built from the ground up, and you do get a more aggressive surround experience with these animated movies but I'm not sure that the addition of DTSX makes a huge difference but it's still nice to have anyway. Uh, in terms of the extras, well, they're all on the actual Blu-ray rather than on the Ultra HD Blu-ray and they are quite extensive and of course they include some old extra Minions mini-movies which everyone enjoys. So it's not, it's not a huge uh, upgrade from buying the original Blu-ray but I think the addition of Dolby Vision certainly gives it an edge. The addition of DTSX is a nice touch as well and definitely think if you're a fan of the film it is worth getting Despicable Me if you've, even if you've already got the original Blu-ray release. The only problem is you don't get the 3D version so if you've got that you might want to hold on to that. But it's definitely Definitely a great Ultra HD Blu release and certainly comes recommended. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. And don't forget, you can find more reviews, news, articles, podcasts, and videos like this at avforums.com, Europe's largest home entertainment community. Thanks for watching.